frequent trips to Tokyo led Bob Hodes to acquire a taste for the delicate flavors of Japanese cuisine. He has a passion for all things pescatarian. He's even dined on fugu, the poisonous puffer fish. While that particular delicacy isn't on the menu, there are plenty of other fish dishes to tempt Bob's palate at his pick, Iasare in Berkeley. My name is Sho Kamio. I'm a chef and owner at the Yasare West Berkeley in California. I was opened uh, my first restaurant 23 years old in northeastern Japan. We have a bay, Pacific Ocean, and a farm, and the fishermen there. It's a kind of similar location in the Bay Area. Seven years ago, my hometown wiped out in a tsunami earthquake disaster. I had a shock. I moved to California 18 years ago. So this is my second culture. So it means I grew up in Japan and then second life in California, I'm trying to combine, making one amazing Japanese California cuisine. Yasare means be healed, which means I'd like to make people comfortable and uh, relax. If you're looking for typical your Japanese restaurant, this is not Yasare. So, I'm sorry, sushi is not coming. Please sit down. Trust me, you will see more diversity in my hometown dishes. I'm really happy. I will enjoy every day with my new venture. I made the right decision. All right, Bob, so you've been to Tokyo a lot. Does this um, remind you of Tokyo? Does it bring the best of Japanese cuisine to Berkeley? Well, I'm going to have to say that it does bring the best of Japanese cuisine to Berkeley, but it's more of a fusion. I, I think that it takes it to a level that is unexpected and I never found in Japan. And how's the sound? We got to get that out the of the way. The sound <laughs> is excellent. You Let's can have the a very out of the romantic way here. conversation without the neighbors hearing you. Okay. It's a fairly small restaurant. Mm -hmm. The ambiance is very nice and more country Japanese style. Right. They also have a patio out front when the weather's nice. The number one thing is their three taste risotto, which has uni, oyster, and cauliflower puree. My wife calls it orgasm in the bowl. Well, there you go. Okay. The tastes are all separate, but then all melded in together. Mm -hmm. uh, it sits in this lovely little broth. Okay. So there's a wonderful fusion within the risotto itself. Um, I thought this place was great and a little jewel. Mm -hmm. They have an amazing uh, sake menu. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, we didn't try wine because the sake was so good. But, but they do know. have some nice Nika whiskey too, some Japanese whiskey, yeah. as well as really beautiful um, sake. It's funny that you say, because you're a sound guy, because that was, the, to, in my opinion, the loudest restaurant of the three. Wow. Well, Acme may have just had a, a very raucous crowd that night, um, but it is small. I thought the restaurant was beautiful, you know, simple, contemporary looking restaurant. Mm -hmm. Other than the noise, I, I had a great time there. Right. We started out with a, a monkfish liver, which I think was their amuse that they mm -hmm. offered from the chef. It was delicious. And then we ordered the hamachi crudo, and I don't know what the spice was, but it was something I had never tasted before, and it was really good. Very fresh. Um, my favorite dish was one of the appetizers, which was a tiger shrimp tempura. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like a bird's nest, and there was vegetables mixed in. And it's called kakiyage. Exactly. Have you been to this restaurant or heard about it before? Um, I had not. I was really excited. Um, so we got there and it was a Tuesday, so it was, we, it was actually their ramen night. A little mm. bit disappointed actually, because ramen's not, um, it, it's not my favorite. Um, yeah. So I, I got in, yeah. yeah, and I asked them if they could, um, you know, give us any other regular menu items, because there was a spaghetti dish I had really wanted to try, mm -hmm. but they said no, it was, it was pretty much only ramen. It's only ramen on Tuesday night. Good, good to know. Yes. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. Um, we did get the kakiyage tempura, um, and that was interesting. I've never seen anything like it, where it was sort of like a mishmash of, you know, maybe shredded vegetables mm -hmm. into like this triangular sort of cake. But it was light. It was flavorful. I actually really liked the broth too that came mm -hmm. on the side. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Really, really nice flavor. So it's I enjoyed that positive. dish. Yeah. And what about the ramen? Yes, we okay. did get the ramen. We got the um, char siu miso ramen. 
Um, so the meat was a little bit rubbery. Overall, um, it was it was okay. And the the noodles were well cooked, though the egg was well cooked, um, and they did have sort of a, a piece of seaweed in there, which I thought was interesting. So it provided that umami sort of flavor. The best starter for us in, in the crudo section. There's a beet cured ocean trout, and I had it, that too. That it, was good. It's really good, uh, and it has some crispy gobo in it and ginger. And when you take a bite of the gobo with the trout, the gobo is crispy and the trout is melt in your mouth. That was one of my yeah. favorite dishes, mm -hmm. the, the trout. Mm -hmm. My favorite one was the tempura tiger shrimp yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, there's only one dish I didn't like of the whole night. It sounds really great, which is a bacon wrapped mochi. And it was very chewy and very salty and very hot. But every other dish was really good. And our main course was a yellowtail collar. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the presentation of this uh, hamachi collar was, uh, I took a picture of it because it was so beautiful. And it looked like a painting. Right. I and mean, they really do a nice job. What was the most amazing thing about this place is it has sort of neighborhood prices. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't expect the prices to be as good as they were. A great local place to go. What about the pancakes? called okonomiyaki. These lovely layers of soft cabbage, tiger shrimp, and squid. And then also they put a sauce on top. It's another one of those things where they take the flavor palette and they jack it up. Well, the chef was and at Yoshi's prior he, to this. Yes, he yeah. was, yes. Mm -hmm. And Ozumo also. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Your restaurant, wrap it up for us. If you want the next level of Japanese food, not a sushi bar, and you want to have a great dining experience with great service, ESRA in Berkeley. All right, and yeah. Tammy. For light, fresh California take on Japanese food, take your friends to ESRA. Okay, and Steve. Sort of a Japanese local gem. I would go there if I lived in Berkeley all the time. All right. If you would like to try ESRA, it's on 4th Street at Hearst in Berkeley. The telephone number is 510-845-8100. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is $45. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.